makeup look and all this eyeshadow look is using my new collection Little Mix eyeshadow palette. I absolutely love it. It was only £3 and it's so highly pigmented and it blends really, really well. And I really love the eyeshadow look that I created with this. I put a photo of this makeup look on my Instagram and also my Facebook page and people were saying how much that they liked it and that they wanted a makeup tutorial. So I thought I would show you guys how I created this look. All of these products that I've used are drugstore. The only thing that isn't drugstore is my under eye concealer and that's only because my under eyes are really bad and I can't find anything else that can really conceal them. But everything else is completely 100% drugstore and I really love all of these products that I've used. All the products are going to be listed down below so you can see exactly what I've used. And as always I've purchased these products myself and they work amazingly for my skin. And if you recreate this look make sure that you let me know. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and the tutorial is coming up now. Bye! First thing I'm going to do is move my hair out of my eyes just because I don't really want to get foundation or concealer in it because it does not look good especially if you have dark hair. So I've already moisturised my skin and I'm going to use my primer and this one is the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer and this works amazingly for my very oily forehead. I pretty much put this on at the beginning of the day and I don't need to touch up with powder for the rest of the day. It just keeps me fully matte and yeah I just absolutely love it. I'm just popping this on my forehead and on my nose because that's where I get really oily. And for my foundation I'm using my Rimmel Last New Finish 25 Hour Foundation and this one is the one with Comfort Serum in it and this is in the shade 100 Ivory. I'm just popping some of that on the back of my hand and I'm using my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge and I'm just going to buff this into my skin. And if you guys didn't know, this is actually a dupe for the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, but it's just a little bit more thicker and it hasn't got as good coverage, but it is a drugstore dupe. And to set my foundation on my forehead and on my nose, I'm using my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the colour Transparent. And I'm just going to be popping this on my forehead using my Real Techniques contour brush. And this is the best powder that I've found to set my foundation. It doesn't make me oily throughout the day and it keeps me nice and matte and it just looks really good and it's so cheap as well. For my eyeshadow base I'm using my Dainty Doll eyeshadow base and I'm just popping this on the top of the eyelid. For my transition shade I'm using the colour Lavish out of my MUA Undress Me 2 palette. And I'm just going to be popping this on the crease of my eye and just working this up. And for the rest of my eye look I'm using my collection Little Mix palette. And the first colour that I'm using is the colour Golden Sand. And I'm just going to be popping this on the inner corner of my eyes. And this has a little bit of glitter to it as well. So it gives it a really nice sheen. And for the outer V and the crease, I'm using the colour Sizzling Brown. I'm just going to be working this into my crease and then I'm also going to be popping it on the outer V as well. And then I'm just going to buff this all together. And then I'm going in with the colour Sunkist and I'm just going to be popping this between the very light shade and also the dark shade. And then I'm just grabbing the shade Feather and I'm just going to pop this underneath my eyebrows. And this is going to act as a highlight. Next is my under eye concealer and I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the colour NW15. And this is the only product in this makeup tutorial that isn't drugstore. And that's because I can't actually find a drugstore alternative that actually covers up all of my under eyes. And it's really hard to cover up my under eyes because they're really, really bad. And I just didn't want to tell you a drugstore alternative if I didn't believe in it and I didn't think it was that good. And I'm just doing a triangle motion and what this does is it gives you a bit of a highlight and it also covers up the under eye circles as well. And I'm just going to tight line by using two of my Rimmel Soft Car pencils and one is in the shade black and the other one is in the shade white. I'm using the black one just to do the waterline on the top. And then I'm using white to tight line on the lower lid. And for my eyeliner, I'm using my favourite eyeliner and this is the Collection Extreme 24 Hour Felt Tip Liner and this is absolutely amazing. I'm just going to do a little cat flick with this. For 
my mascara I'm using the Rimmel K Scandalize Mascara and this is in the shade I Rock Jet Black and this is really good, it's really highly pigmented and it also curls the eyelashes as well. And to set my under eye concealer I'm popping my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder underneath my eyes and I'm also going to pop it down where the triangle is as well. And for my eyelashes I'm using my Eyelon Natural Lights Lashes in the style 100 and these just make them a lot longer but not uber thick so it just looks like it's naturally long. And if you want them to look a little bit more natural you can just go back in with a little tiny bit of mascara and just pop it on the joint. Moving on to my brows I'm using my Rimmel Eyebrow Pencil and this is in the shade Black Brown. And this is a darker shade they do and what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to outline how I want my eyebrows. And to just clean up the line I'm going to take the rest of my concealer that's on the back of my hand and I'm just going to go around my eyebrows just to shape them. Once I've done the outline of my eyebrows, I'm going in my Costco eyeshadow palette in the colour chocolate and I'm just going to use this to darken up the eyebrows a little bit more. And it's also going to make them look a little bit more bold as well. Now that the eyes are done, I'm going on to the rest of my face and for my brands of contouring, I'm using my Rimmel Sun Shimmer in the colour Light Matte and this is the shade that I always use so it's going to be absolutely no surprise to any of you guys that have seen any of my other tutorials. So I'm just going to contour my cheeks and go up to my forehead and then I'm also contouring down the sides of my nose and this is just going to give the illusion of a smaller nose and I'm just going to highlight by using my concealer and just popping it down the bridge of my nose and for my blush I'm using my makeup gallery blush in the shade candy floss which is number two and I really love this shade it's really nice and pink it's great for all of you pale people out there and also for people with darker skin as well I don't believe it's going to be good for people that have olive skin but it'll be good for everyone else and I'm just going to pop this on the apples of my cheeks I love this it's only a pound and it's actually the makeup range from Poundland and honestly the pigmentation is amazing I just can't believe that I've never tried this out before and for highlighter I'm using my Technic Highlights and this is what I use for every single time that I highlight my face. It's only £2, it's also a dupe for the Benefit High Beam as well which is absolutely amazing and it works pretty much exactly the same and the colour looks exactly the same as well. So I'm just going to pat this into my cheeks and I'm also going to put this on the underneath my eyebrows as well. I'm going to do two dots here just so I highlight under the brows. And then I'm just going to pat that in as well. The last part of this look is to do my lips and I'm using my Maybelline Colour Sensational Lip Liner and this is in the shade 132 Sweet Pink and this is a gorgeous nude colour, I only just bought it yesterday and I do love it and it's really nice and creamy as well, you can use it for all over colour. And for my lip colour I'm using my Kiko Cosmetics Pencil Lip Gloss and this is in the shade 07 and it's a gorgeous nudie colour and I'm just going to put this all over the lip. So this is my finished makeup look. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm literally obsessed with this look. I love the fact that you can have the pale lips and also the bright bold eyes. It looks amazing for spring and also for summer so I'm really excited to be using this. I love that I found an amazing eyeshadow palette for only £3 so I thought I would show you a look just so you can see what it looks like. So if you have any other tutorials that you want me to do just comment down below and let me know. And I really love doing drugstore tutorials because I love drugstore products. The only things that I normally have that aren't drugstore are actually my foundations and my under eye concealers but that's only because I have to be careful with my skin so I hope that you enjoyed this video make sure that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video guys bye